The Builders of India's Heritage Ilango Adihal Two young princesses were playing in front of the palace. A servant who had just been received by the illustrious king pointed his finger at the younger prince and told the king, This son, my lord, should make a worthy successor of yours. The princesses overheard the servant's words. The elder prince's face paled. He loved his younger brother, true, but it was painful for him to hear that it was not he but the younger prince who would succeed his father. The younger prince appreciated the mood of his brother. He forthwith decided to leave the court and lead the life of an ascetic. Nothing would dissuade him from carrying out his decision. He went and lived in a monastery. In due course, he saw his elder brother crowned. The bond of affection between the two brothers was never snapped. The ascetic prince grew famous as a philosopher and poet. His elder brother grew famous as a king. The princesses belonged to the Chera dynasty, who ruled a part of southern Indian centuries ago. With their capital at Wanji, the elder brother is remembered as King Sengutuvan. The younger brother's real name is lost to time but even better known is he as Ilango Adihal. Ilango means a young prince. Adihal means an ascetic. This ascetic prince lived about 1800 years ago. We do not know much about him, but it is due to him that we know much about the society and the civilization of the time. He has left for the posterity a great epic. Silapadigaram or the Angle Bracelet, which is among the greatest works of Indian literature. The ancient Tamil literature had three glorious creative periods known as Sangams. Silapadigaram, written during the third Sangam period, which ended in the third century AD, has exercised a great influence on both poetry and fiction of the later ages. Although written in sweet verse, the moving story of the epic reads like a complete novel. Among the famous ruling dynasties of southern India were the Pandyas, the Cholas and the Cheras. In the city of Kaveri Pumbatinam, the capital of the Cholas, lived a prosperous young man named Kovalan. He married Kannagi, the daughter of a noble family. They were the most charming couple in the city. But as luck would have it, Kovalan failed to be prudent. He wasted his wealth and was reduced to misery. Repentant of his conduct, he decided to visit the city of Madurai, the capital of the Pandyas. To give a new start to his life, his faithful wife accompanied him. After an arduous journey, they reached their beautiful city. Kovalan left Kanagi with a kind cowherd family and went into the city, carrying with him an anglet of Kanagi. It so happened that a valuable anglet of the queen had been stolen. The goldsmith who was involved in the theft happened to see the anglet carried by Kovalan for sale. He was living under the fear of being caught any time. So he thought it clever to get Kovalan captured as the thief to satisfy the king's wrath. The king in his haste ordered that whoever had been caught with the anglet be put to death. The king's gods killed Kovalan. Indescribable was the agony of Kannagi when she heard of her husband's fate. She ran through the city protesting. She appeared before the king and the queen and proved her husband's innocence. 
द पांडियास वेर फेमस फॉर द रूल ऑफ जस्टिस द किंग शॉकड एट हिस ओन रॉन्ग डूइंग डाइड इंस्टेंटली द क्वीन डिड नॉट सर्वाइव हिम बाय द पावर ऑफ हर प्यूरिटी कर्णगी इनवोक्ड द गॉड ऑफ फायर and asked him to consume the entire city sparing only the holy and the virtuous cows chaste women old people and children instantly the city went off in fire kannagi traveled to the neighboring land of the cheras there while she sat under a tree in a forest some forest dwellers saw her as they looked on she grew luminous and disappeared heavenward king sengutuvan along with his brother ilango adihal heard the strange incident from the forest dwellers upon a visit to the hills while the king brought a slab of stone from the himalayas and erected a statue of kannagi his poet brother decided to write an epic on kannagi and kovalan this was the literature enriched by silapadigaram supporters by subscribing our channel thank you